at the 30. Trailing 54 to seven, Tapia takes the snap, drops back in the pocket, delivers the pass, and a tackle. The pass was delivered there to Taylor Evans again. He's been targeted a lot here. Aside from the blocked punt, and the Celts being in good scoring position on their last drive, the ball has not moved up the field very much. A polar opposite second half with the running clock. Gutierrez, pocket breaks down on him. He's in trouble. Gutierrez is brought down. The ball is fumbled. We'll see who has it. Yeah, it's a scrum there right now. Celts look like they have it, and they do. Tapia. Again, pocket breaks down on him. He's going to run it. He's going to find himself in the end zone, and Crespi has themselves a touchdown. Their second one of the game. Diego Tapia Gutierrez. Going to try and make a play here. Pass is delivered to number 11. Victor Sykes getting in the game, the senior. So a first and goal for the Trailblazer backups. Trying to put a touchdown on the board. Four minutes, 20 seconds to go. 54-13 ball game. And it's been a fun one. Gutierrez, the handoff. And that's Huddleston finding his way in the end zone. Touchdown, Trailblazers. There goes EJ Gable running like the wind there. Able to find a hole. His lineman made excellent blocks for him there. A heck of a run by EJ Gable showing off the wheels and shocking this Vikings crowd here on the second uh, play of this drive, the Sierra Canyon Trailblazers end up with a touchdown. I mean, there you go. The defense making a huge play after the offense shocks this crowd. Now the defense picks off the senior Davis Cop and puts themselves in excellent scoring position here inside the 10. Right. Without a doubt, Mike, everyone is excited coming into this one, whether it's the players, coaching staff, or faculty around the school. Teachers are wearing their football gear. Students are wearing it as much as possible. And they were calling it Paraclete Week. They knew the rivalry was in full effect. Sierra Canyon coming off of a dominant win looking to secure this gold coast league championship today against paraclete and speaking of ej gable mike these are his last uh stats over the last two games if i can interest you in 12 carries for 131 yards and five touchdowns that's why we call him big play ej i mean he can get six carries and still break loose for 100 yards hunter williams we've seen a lot of that from him this season mike i mean he finds his way into the end zone untouched so many times he just has that deceptive speed. He's able to take off. No one's able to touch him. Six points on the board for the Trailblazers. Gable may have not have kept his eyes on the ball there. He saw Chayden was going to run with it. Finally, he decided to pass the last second. EJ already had his mind made up. He might have tried to block for him there and just couldn't focus on the catch all around. But I think that last Trailblazers offensive set gave us a good idea of what the game plan might be for the rest of this one. Uh, they're noticing the one-on-one -on -one coverage with DJ Harvey, and they might want to keep going to it. They went to him four times on that drive uh, alone. So we'll see if they try to exploit that matchup a little bit more and see if it results in a touchdown. Well, DJ Harvey said, I haven't caught one in the end zone yet. Might as well pick one off on defense. Picks off the senior Saul there, and Trailblazers in more than comfortable position here to try and increase that lead. But that's one thing we see from this Trailblazers team a lot, is, and that's the wideouts going and playing in the secondary. Paying off there. DJ Harvey showing off the hands on the defensive end. How many times are we going to say? Are we going to see it, Mike? Hunter Williams, he w we've seen him go in untouched. We've seen him go in with players on his back. Hunter Williams showing off the strength and speed there for another touchdown, his second one. And you mentioned it, Mike. I mean, I, we are a bit surprised the Spirits have not come out with a little more urgency and the Trailblazers have taken advantage of it with the 21-0 lead but also this has been a trend we've seen in their big wins for the Trailblazers they jump on the opponent early they hit you with the big plays for yardage and touchdowns and they maintain the lead you're down early Hunter Williams putting in so much work in that first quarter two carries two touchdowns he's been a beast all year on senior night the junior coming through and uh, showing what we'll see probably more of the same from him next year. 